and welcome back to A Little to the Left. This is Jewel Smith, and I started playing this game for a Try It Tuesday in May, just before I came down with COVID. <laughs> I was sick the whole month of May, and I am still not feeling 100%. That's why I sound a little bit... If I sound like I have a cold, <laughs> that's why... Still a little bit congested. I still can't smell or taste anything. And I still get tired very easily. We finished chapters. Woo! That's a lot. Chapters one and two and three. Whoosh! Now let's do chapter four. This is a casual little puzzle game. But I think it's a lot of fun, and I want to play it some more. That's right, the kitty knocked over the vase. And now we have to put it back together. Oh, do we have to turn it? We do. Oh, that's cool. puzzles have one star, some have two, and some even have three. And I thought that it had something to do with the speed at which I completed the puzzle, but now I'm starting to think it's got to do with uh, different possible solutions. If there's more than one possible solution, then there'll be more than one star. So I might go back and try a few of the earlier puzzles and see if that theory is correct. But let's finish these first. Looks like we have a desk and a rug and the kitty is making a mess here. Can we wipe things up? I don't know how to set this up right. Oh, there's a paw print. Oh, there's another paw print. I'd like to straighten the rug, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, there's some paw prints down here. Oh, okay. I'm not supposed to fix the rug. I'm supposed to pull the rug back. And clean these. Oh, I guess that was it. Okay. Oh, and here's more little kitty footprints. I find little kitty footprints like that on my stove in the morning. <laughs> my cats aren't allowed to jump up on the stovetop when I'm in the kitchen or when any of us are in the kitchen. But when we all go to bed, <laughs> they go in the kitchen. And then in the morning, I find little footprints <laughs> all over the countertop and the stovetop. Oh, naughty kitty. Kitty stole the cloth. Ah. We did it. 
Our cat buddy loves to play under the door. <laughs> when there's a space under the door that he can get his paw in there, he'll throw his toys under the door and then reach in and try to grab them back out again. It's so cute. What is this? Are we supposed to be trimming these leaves off of the plant? Am I supposed to do it really fast? Or am I supposed to make it balanced so it's the same on both sides? Yeah, it had to be symmetrical. We have leaves. What are we going to do with these? I'm organizing them by color. So there's green turning yellow. Yellow with some green. Yellow with red and orange. There's orange. Clearly, that's not the solution. Hmm. They have holes, too. You see that? I don't know if the holes matter. Oh, maybe we have to line up the holes. it definitely has something to do with the holes in the leaves because this side doesn't have any holes and this side doesn't have any holes but look the rest of the holes are lining up with each other there it is have three potted plants and we can slide them around and there's different colors on the leaves so maybe we have to line them up a certain way they're kind of lined up right around there. I guess that's what we had to do. Ooh, gems. That's a nice sound. I bet whoever did Foley for this game had a good time. <laughs> they look like they kind of line up here. Similar angles or something? This one goes here. Yeah, we did it! Oh, there were two other possible solutions, maybe? We'll have to check that out later. Oh, look at the seashells! What in the world are we supposed to do here? All right, uh, the star and this orange shell don't seem to have a match. 
much. So I'm going to put them in the center. <gasps> kitty, no! Kitty! Hold that kitty. I guess we just had to arrange everything symmetrically. All right, so now what? Okay. Um, let's take that one off. That makes it symmetrical. This game seems to want everything to be symmetrical in this level. That's what I'm getting here. Pesky kitty. And now we've got to sort things. Got some candy here. Alright, we have three yellow things, so I'm going to put them here. Oh, and I got a little bell, so that sounds correct. And eyeball things here. Okay. White pitted things there. Uh, zebra stripey things here. And gray and white striped things here. How about that? I guess that's acceptable. Now we have all kinds of little bits and pieces from plants. Is this going to be kind of like the seashell level where we have to arrange them symmetrically? That looks like a nose. Everything is laid out symmetrically, but I'm not getting a bell, so that's probably not the way we're supposed to do it. Okay, there we go. I think everything just couldn't be overlapping too close to each other. I had to move things around just a little bit. And now we have stones. These are pretty. But how in the world? We could do large, medium, and small, maybe? Yeah, 
that doesn't seem to work. Large, medium, small. How about small, medium, large? No. What I'm thinking is we have red and black and orange and gray. Gray, gray and orange, orange. Orange, orange and black, black. And see this one has all the colors on it, so it goes in the center. If I do this, this is probably the solution. You see that? Yep, that was it. Oh, there was a second star, okay. Oh boy, I bet we're gonna have to fit these. All of these stones are gonna have to fit in here, I bet. I'm looking for the ones that kind of look like the corners. I did it! That one was good. That felt good. And now we have some leaves. Four leaf clovers. Oh my. Do these have to be symmetrical? They do look like they match up. There we go. Oh, kitty! <laughs> That's a playful kitty. Ooh, what is this? A kaleidoscope? I bet we have to match up the patterns. Yes. There we 
There we go. Maybe this. Oh, wait, wait. I think this is it here. There we go. Oh, now we gotta do another one. <laughs> okay. This is the last one. bit is right there. I remember seeing it. Symmetrical. in the center. Achievement unlocked! Inner nature! Oh, and now we've made it to chapter 5. Well, we'll have to work on that one next time. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed a little to the left. And if you'd like to check out some of the other episodes, those are on my YouTube channel. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do that through YouTube, Super Thanks, Memberships, or at Patreon.com slash Smith. I appreciate it. Every little bit helps. Leaving a comment and a like and a subscription also helps the channel. So do that for me. If you've made it this far, I appreciate you. Take care of yourselves. Until next time. <laughs>